Reznov told me at Vokuda. What did he tell you? Mason, listen to me. It was a long time ago. Far away. Dragovich, Stein, Kravchenko, all must die. But he told me. My father was a musician in Stalingrad. During the German occupation, the sound of his violin filled the air with magnificent music. Korsakov, Stasov, many of the great nationalist composers. To my countrymen, it was a symbol of hope. To the Germans, it was a symbol of defiance. Even now, his music still haunts me. The Nazis slit his throat while he slept. Collaborating with any Nazi is a betrayal, a betrayal against all of Mother Russia. Dragovich, Krushenko were not troubled by such matters. They look only to advance their own interests and agendas. Everything is loaded. They are waiting. Victor, it is time. Yes, Dimitri. Time to hunt down the last remnants of the fascist Reich. Nevsky, grab the gear. We are moving out. The men and I have fought through the most bitter of winters on the Eastern Front. We were no strangers to cold, but even now. The blood in my... Veins chills when I think back to the events of that day. Ah! The hero of Berlin graces us with his presence. Have you not tired of battle, Rezno? As long as Mother Russia has enemies, I will answer her call. Put aside your petty rivalry, Kravchenko. Captain Reznov will do as he is told. We are here for one German, and one German only. Dr. Friedrich Steiner. This man has offered his cooperation to our cause. He is not to be harmed. Disobey this order, and you will be shot. What happened in Stalingrad, between you and Dragovich? When the German occupation began, he and his lapdog, Dratenko, left my men and I hopelessly outnumbered. Promises of reinforcements were made. Made, but not kept. Dragovich and Kratchenko are opportunists, manipulators. They are not to be trusted, Dmitry. Dmitry Patrenko was one of the bravest men I have ever known. He fought by my side from the siege of Stalingrad to the fall of Berlin. The wounds he sustained, ensuring our victory should have earned him a hero's welcome to Russia. But Stalin had little need for heroes. The German must not be harmed! We need Steiner alive! Now move! Both of you! Let's go! It is good to fight for your side once more. Yes, my friend. One final victory. Search every corner of this camp. Only Stein to be spared.
Be careful. There may be more of them. After this mission, do you think we will go home? I hope so, Dimitri. I hope so. Good job!
still! Do not point that weapon at me, Russian dog! You will take me to Dragovich. As I looked into the German's eyes, I saw the fascist Reich still loading strong. At that moment, Every fiber of my being yearned to put an end to his wretched life. But I was a soldier then. I still believed in orders. Reznov, bring your men! What is here that is so important? General Dragovich wishes to make a name for himself. He believes this outpost houses something of great value to the motherland. Dragovich and Steiner are talking like old friends. I do not like this, Reznov. No, I do. must hurry! There are yeah, Germans who would sooner see you destroyed than captured. You assured me there would be no problems. I cannot control the actions of the SS, yes, General Dragovich. They are sworn to defend the right till their last breath. Noble, but futile. Gravchenko, finish up here. Reznov, you and your men will lead the way. Yes, sir! Petrenko, Vikarev, Nevsky, Bolov! We are moving out! Steiner, tell me more about your association with the Gift Eager Stern project. In 43, the Fuhrer realized the Allies could not be held back for much longer. We began to look for more unconventional solutions. Throughout the war, my own research was focused on chemical weapons. It was meticulous and frustrating work. However, what we finally developed was a weapon more effective than we had ever dared to imagine. The weapon now housed within this vessel. Nova Six. affected the Nervo 6 chemical may be, you still had to find a way to unleash it. Long-range V2 rockets to be launched from this outpost. The targets were command and control centers. Washington DC was our first target. Then Moscow. Hmm. Ambitious and commendable. But we were too late. The British were upon us and their bombers crippled the ship. Locked in the ice, we tried to salvage what we could. But it was too late. Germany had surrendered, and a Russian flag flew over Berlin. The SS had orders to destroy the ship if we were attacked. Clearly, they failed. The explosives were never activated. This is it. Reznov, open the door. We had found what we were looking for. Nova 6. The German weapon of mass disruption now belonged to Mother Russia. Or so it seemed. Our victory was to be short-lived. Dragovich wanted to see the effects of the poison firsthand. It was also an opportunity to remove a thorn in his side. I had long known of their distrust. A 
kind of men they were. It was a betrayal. I should have foreseen. The military and tranquil was a hero. He deserved the hero's death. Instead of giving his life for the glory of the motherland, he died for nothing. Like an animal. He should have died in Berlin. As I watched my closest friend die, it became clear we were not the only ones seeking the German weapons. The Western Allies circled like vultures. Of course, Dragovich, Kroshenko, and Steiner scattered like rats, leaving me to contend with the British. British commandos assaulting our positions! Plunge this vessel into the depths of hell. We cannot let either side possess this terrible weapon. More British! think that the threat was over. It was only after I was captured and sent to Vokur that I learned of Dragovich's true intentions. He will die before he gives up on Nova Six. Mason, listen to me. We are running out of time, my friend. Can you trust your leaders to destroy it? Or do you think they will use it? The flag may be different, but the methods are the same. They will use you as they used me. You must decide. Decide what you think is worth fighting for. Dragovich, Kravchenko, Stein. These men must die. <laughs> 